Greetings and salutations. Thanks for clicking on the video. It's a dark and stormy night, and I'm up late playing on the computer. Have to be kind of quiet because everybody else is asleep. Been playing around with a program called MOC, and I wanted to show you guys because I think it's pretty cool. I'm doing this video on my old e machine. It's put together from a bunch of parts I had laying around, sort of a project machine I've been playing with for a while. Not too long ago I loaded Linux Mint 17.3 the XFCE edition on it and ever since I've done that it's kind of become my daily driver. This machine is set up kind of in the kitchen dining area and so it's centrally located. I got a pretty good set of Harman Kardon speakers hooked up to it so it sounds pretty good and I read a lot of email here. I write stories here. I do a lot of things on this computer and while I'm doing all of that I like to listen to music and I have been using Banshee which is the default music player in uh, Linux Mint but the problem is is that this is a low resource machine so Banshee tends to take a long time to load. Uh, it usually doesn't take as long as it uh, it will because I'm capturing video but it, it takes a couple of seconds to get loaded up and get itself ready to play and then once it does go get playing every once in a while it just stops and I think that's because if I open up another application in the background or something like that that it has a problem with it so I was thinking of a lower resource solution and I thought what about a music player that plays from the terminal they're actually are several to choose from and MOC was the one that I liked the best I tried uh, two or three of them this evening and for whatever reason that you would want to play music from the terminal maybe you work in the terminal a lot maybe you just think it's a cool idea or maybe you're like me and I remember back when we didn't have GUI interfaces on computers I started out with uh, Commodore 64 and then an Apple II, <laughs> and then graduated to MS-DOS, okay? That's how long ago, uh, that's how long I've been playing with computers. So I, I like to work at a, a command line. It doesn't bug me. So to get MOC on your computer, you would uh, in, use this command, sudo apt install MOC. If you are on an Ubuntu distribution, you could also find it in the software center on Ubuntu. You can find it on Linux Mint in the software manager just uh, take a look in there if you don't want to do it from a terminal and whatever distribution of Linux that you happen to be using you probably will find this program it's been around for a while from what I'm given to understand I do have to tell you that I, I, I couldn't find a great deal of documentation and information about this so I kinda had to feel it out for myself the most useful piece of information that I found was the arch wiki for the uh, Arch Linux community. They had a nice article about how this works. So you install the package. The package is called MOC. To actually launch the program, you will type in MOCP, and this is what you're going to get. And on the left hand side here, you'll see that it's showing a bunch of directories. And on the right hand side, this is where your playlist can go and you can create playlists here they're M3U playlists and it's pretty easy to do and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about how that works in just a minute or two so we can find some audio to play and I'm not going to be playing any music simply because of the fact I don't want to get busted by YouTube for copyright so I think I can play some old time radio shows for you to show you how it works so let's go down here there's a CBS radio mystery theater uh, you can change the view here by hitting the L key and it will expand the screen to show either uh, the directory or if you hit tab it will show playlists. Right now I can't use tab because nothing's in playlists and it's telling me so. Okay, so let's go ahead and start playing it and you start playing by hitting enter. Radio Mystery Theater presents to pause it you use the space key and to continue playing you uh, hit space again now you can set this up to shuffle by hitting shift and the letter S so we'll turn shuffle on 
continue playing that. And if I hit the N key, it'll go to the next one, the next random thing on in the directory. Of course, it's playing a bunch of mystery. I have a huge collection of CBS Radio Mystery Theaters in here, so that's why it's choosing them to go back, hit the back key. To skip ahead, use the right or left arrow key. And to skip back, you can do that as well. What a horrible screeching sound that is. So those are the basic playback controls. To control the volume, you can use the period or the comma key. It has the arrows above it uh, to do that. So as you can see, I'm changing the volume with word there. So those are the basic playback controls. If I wanted to create a playlist, here's how I would do it. I'm going to change the layout so I can see both. And just for the fun of it, we'll throw in one of these shows here. Arthur Godfrey's uh, whatever this is. Okay. And I'm going to press the letter A to add it to the playlist. And then I can jump to another directory here. We can play, put some music in here because I'm not going to be actually playing it. So just grab a, just grab an Alabama song if you're a country fan. Oh, you don't like country. I'm sorry. How about uh, some jazz or classical? Let's just grab a Bing. Here's a Bing Crosby song with Al Jolson together. Put that in there. So I'm just pressing letter A to do that. If I want to add an entire directory to the playlist, so we'll choose a bunch of pop songs from the 1950s here. Then it's Control A, or not Control A, but Shift A. So now it's adding the entire playlist. Okay, now we've created our playlist. I'm going to change the layout once again so I can see the the full playlist. And if you want to move things around in here, you can use the U key. To move that up, we can move Bobby Darren back down, the J key, and you can arrange this any way that you like. Once you get it the way you want it to, you probably want to save your playlist. So the first thing that you want to do is go and figure out the directory you want to put it in. In my case, I want to put it in playlists. And you can see I've been goofing around with this. I've got a couple called junk and stuff like that. Okay, so shift V will allow us to save the playlist and we'll call this one junk 3 just give it a name all right and it reads all of the information the tags and stuff like that and then it puts it in the playlist and if you if you're saving a lot of stuff it might take it a little while to crunch through that and read the tags and create the playlist so keep that in mind and let me just refresh this by getting out of it and back into it again and there's our playlist so that's the very very basic operation to learn more about how it works you can just use the shift and the uh, it's a shift question mark to get a complete list of the commands and this thing does a lot of stuff I probably will not use all the features in here, but it's very full featured for a command line music player. Okay, so let's get out of that by pressing escape. And I'm going to toggle back over here to the playlist view. And I'm actually going to start this playing. Now I have shuffle turned on. I have shuffle turned on and um, I can now exit the program just by hitting the Q key but as you can hear it keeps playing I can totally close the terminal and it's running as a service on the machine now so that's pretty cool so how would I close it once I got it started well we'll reopen our terminal and we'll issue the command MOCP and now it, it's quit 
So let's restart the program. And it remembers the last playlist that we loaded into it, so that's pretty nice. So once you get this set up, if you get all your favorites in there, you can just turn it loose, hit the Q key, and it'll keep playing. Or you can just close the terminal and it'll still keep playing. Either one works. Okay. You can, maybe somebody who knows a little bit more about this program than I do can help me with this. You can change the theme by hitting Shift and T and then you can choose a theme. I kinda like this mocha theme. They have a few in here. Okay. But the only problem with that is I can't get it to stick. So if I press Q, actually I'm gonna press Shift and Q to completely kill the program. Uh, well, I had to get out of that now. Completely kill the program. If you hit the lowercase Q it just kills the player portion. If you use uppercase Q it kills the server and the player altogether. Anyway, watch this. When I go back into it, it doesn't remember the theme. So that might be something that you have to configure in a file or there's a control I'm missing. If you know how to fix that, let me know. I think I showed you guys the volume controls, right? Yeah, I did. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that this is a very nifty program and it will do a lot and I'm probably going to actually get a lot of use out of it because uh, this is just so lightweight and it's easy to spin up so see now I'm playing music I probably get busted for that I'm telling you, man, they come after me for everything. I don't know whether everybody gets flagged for copyright, but I do. If I put a, a tiny little bit of something in there, I get in trouble. Anyway, um, this is a very nifty little program, and if you are so inclined, I would encourage you to check it out. And like I said earlier in the video, I wasn't able to find a great deal of documentation on it, but if you're kind of familiar with how music players work anyway, if you're like a music nut like I am, uh, this is a, a program that looks like it can handle a lot of files, which is nice as well, because a lot of programs have a hard time keeping up with uh, a huge collection. We're talking about when you get into the thousands and thousands of songs, and what's on this machine is actually only part of my collection. There's more that's available on the network uh, that I might be playing through here as well. So I guess that's about it, gang. Check out freedompenguin.com. I got a new article up there. Check out Easy Linux on the web if you want to find out how I can help you get started with Linux. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook. It's turned into a little community. We got a groovy thing going on over there. And if you do check out Easy Linux on Facebook, give it a like. I sure would appreciate it. And also let me know how it works for you if you try out this program, MOC. We will talk again soon. Thanks for watching.